Okay, so we know ensembling is important, but now what I want to do is I want to teach you some of the 80-20 concepts before we dive into all of the code and everything. So uh, what is ensembling? That's what we aim to, that's what I aim to cover in this presentation, and um, let's, so let's get started. All right, so the first thing I want to talk about is weighted ensembles, and this is probably the easiest thing to understand. So um, basically what we have are what's called submodels, and these are the models that we put into a model timetable. So think of it like you might have an ARIMA model, a GLM net model, a support vector machine, an XG boost model, and you have these now in your model timetable, and some of them are doing better than others. And then what you can do is you can take the predicted results and combine them in multiple different ways. One strategy is to weight them using an average. And the most common is just to take the mean, uh, which is where you would have the model predictions are M1, M2, M3, and so on. And if you had four models, each of those weightings would be equally distributed. So it'd be 25% ARIMA, 25% GLMnet, 25% support vector machine and 25% XG boost. So that's the easiest thing to understand. Um, and model time implements that using this ensemble average function. The next thing is, um, and what we can do is with weighted averaging. So some of these models may perform better than others. And uh, what we typically do is we weight them according to the strength of the model. So you might rank them um, in some fashion, or you might give extra bonus weighting. Uh, if your GLM net model is performing the best, you might weight that you know, with a, a ranking or a loading of say five and uh, the rest of these with maybe ones. And then what will happen is that'll get scaled and distributed. So that way your GLM net model has, you know, 75, 80% of the weight. And then some of these other models have much less and you can distribute them any way you want. And that's part of the challenge with the weighted uh, ensembling is how best to weight them. So these are both really good strategies uh, they're fast and efficient and um, they're very easy to use and very easy to comprehend. So, um, uh, but the one downside is, is they don't, uh, sometimes they don't give the best performance. So there's another strategy that is widely adopted in uh, many machine learning disciplines. In fact, the H2O algorithm implements what's called an unstacked ensemble. So if you've taken the 201 course, um, there's a, a best of family stacking, and then there's another type of stacking, which, which just stacks all of the algorithms. Um, and this is what uh, are called uh, using meta learners. So um, there's uh, another approach that that model time ensemble implements is stacked ensembles using um, ensemble model specs and the model time fit resamples. And I'll explain in a little bit how these work. But uh, basically, if you just think about it, you have a model time table again uh, that has four different models. And what you'll do is you'll utilize each one of these models to make predictions and feed each of a second level of meta learners. And we specify these and it's just another machine learning algorithm. So a linear stack would be uh, built using the linear reg function. Um, you can do a tree based stack uh, using like a random forest, for example. And basically any of these algorithms that are down here, you can use as stacking algorithms. Um, so the challenge is, is which algorithms to use, and you should probably do some experimentation and we'll actually do that in this course. So, um, to dive in a little bit more about how stacked ensembles work, because it's a little bit confusing, uh, if you're first, uh, learning it. So, um, if you think about this, you've got sub models. So if we have a model time table where we have four sub models an ARIMA, a GLM net, a support vector machine, and an XG boost. What we can do is we can use and perform what's called resampling. Now this is depicting a five fold resampling procedure where a random uh, fifth of the data would be set aside for uh, cross validation um, and identified as a predicted set. And then the other 80% of the data would be training data. Uh, and you would split this up five ways. And these are each random partitions. Um, but the full per partition, so when you put all of these predictions together, you get a full data set of predictions. So this is the function of model time fit resamples is 
what you do is you take your models and it runs it through the resampling process. So you get for each one of your models, all four of your models, you'd get predictions for ARIMA, uh, cross-validation predictions for JLMNet, cross-validation predictions for Sport Vector Machine, and cross-validation predictions for XGBoost. So this starts to look like a table that you can then run a meta learner on. So you would just take your random forest and you would run it on these. Now, what you typically do is you do a second set of cross validation in order to tune these models if they're tunable. So if you do a linear regression, that's a non tunable. There's no parameters to a linear regression, but if you do a GLM net or if you do a random forest, um, both of these models are uh, modeling approaches are uh, tunable and you would do another set of cross validation on these and that's how you would uh, find out the best um, uh, uh, tune, tuning parameters hyperparameters for your meta learners so once you have finally come up with some meta learners you've then completed a stacked ensemble and it looks something like this so you've got your stacking um, levels right here that have been fed by your arima glm net spm and XGBoost. Last one here is multi-level stacking. And this then takes the next level of combining both a weighted stack and um, sub-stacking algorithms. So once you understand these two concepts, the idea here is you would perform stacking using you know, multiple different algorithms, and then you would pick the best stacking uh, to then do a weighted ensembling approach. And you could either do an average or a weighted stack. And when you combine these, it's a three level stack. And that is what won this Grupo Bimbo inventory demand. You can see that the picture is almost identical. It's where they've got level one, they've got a bunch of different models down here uh, that feed level two, where you've got different models here that are your stacking. And then level three is your weighting. So that is what Model Time Ensemble allows you to do is to not only stop at your level two, but continue on to do a level three stacking. And this is what we'll be covering in this uh, part of the course.